This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Let's just, uh, oh yeah, moving on, um, I said I'll leave that until later. Well, uh, there are two things we have. There's background color, which does the background color, of course, as I just demonstrated. And then there's color, which is everything but the background. Um, this is the American spelling, by the way, for everyone who's not using, uh, American English. Um, so, color is, and I'm just going to say white, because that's the best color I can think of at the moment. Or we could have yellow, actually, but... There we go, so now everything's yellow. Uh, it's worth noting, though, that this, this will only be in the header, so if we, if we input something here, and then refresh this... There it is, but it, it's still in black because we only said we wanted um, everything in the header ID to be yellow. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna take that away. Sorry, uh, and then just input the color here as white. Okay, there we go. Let, let's take this out as well. Um, now if we put it on that bar straight away here. You can see it's right next to uh, this, okay, which we don't really want. So we're just gonna put um, div a class this time as um, as a spacer, okay, and uh, we're just gonna specify div dot uh, spacer because it's a class and dot is for classes. We're just going to specify we want a, uh, a height of um, 10, well, 15 actually. So that this is just going to space out uh, these two by 15 pixels. And let's just specify the width as 800 pixels just to be safe. Okay, uh, that text has disappeared. Let's input some more quickly. Okay, so now you can see there's a space of 15 pixels there. Um, Okay, now let's go into the styling of our navbar. We're just going to, again, specify a width of 800 pixels and a height of, uh, well, I should think about 30 should be okay. It just has to be the height of the text. Uh, I'm just going to make a couple of lines here. I like to have some space down at the bottom. Um, border is one pixel solid. Okay, there we go. There's our nav bar again. Um, and we're just gonna, uh, hey, heref, whoops, index.html. Uh, oh, before I go on to uh, the links there, um, let's just put in this text align as well. We don't want our links to be all the way over here. Um, and having to space them out with the spaces. Anyway, uh, home. Now, because um, we're not using tables, we can't have table cell spaces. So that's basically the same method as here, where you can have, like, say this was one table cell from here, and you didn't, you wanted the text to be uh, this much away, then you could just have a table cell from here to here, specifying the width as a spacer, basically. Um, but with with uh, divs, we're just going to have to use something called and ndsp colon, which is basically it just counts as a space. That's all it is. Uh, but it's it's only one single space, so we need a couple here. That should be enough. Um, now a href equals about dot html about forward slash. Oops. Um, copy and paste the same amount of spaces down. A ref equals uh, contact HTML. Oops. So these are just basically the pages you'd have in a, a normal site. And okay, so there we go. We've got our three. And here you can see. I can highlight one space, and each thing I highlight is one of those and NDSPs. Um, I use them in my own site, actually. What's this? Oh, that's a uh, it's, um, 
isaptalk.com. We just right click and view page source. Here you can see I've used an MBSPs here. Oh, and I also use these uh, these little things, which is uh, if you just look down in your keyboard, the backward slash, it's just shift backward slash that makes one of these little things, which uh, which kind of look cool. They sort of space it out, make it look pretty nice. Um, okay, now remember I said how we can reference to anything. Well, um, we can also reference to links. So we're just gonna put a link here, and. Um, we're going to specify it as a color of... I'm going to put yellow this time. Zero, zero. Um, okay, so now if we go back to here. You can see... Okay, these have turned yellow, right? Uh, but this is still purple. That's because we've uh, visited this one. You can see if I go here and then go back... Oh, wait. I can't because uh, it's going back, I guess. Uh, let's try visiting there. And then changing that back to index. Okay, well it still doesn't work, but you can trust me on this one. Uh, if if let's try refreshing it. No, uh, let's let's try going to a different site then. Google. And then let's re-drag and drop it in. Okay, no, it still stays the same. But uh, trust me on this one. This this means it's been visited. So. Uh, we want visited and uh, normal link, unvisited links to be the same color. So you're just going to say a link and then comma a visited. Uh, and then that will just say it's the same thing. Okay, so now you can see it's changed back to yellow. Um, I don't really like the font of everything in here. So I'm just going to change this to Arial. So font dash uh, family is Arial. Helvetica or Sans, some type of Sans Serif. Uh, yep. Okay, and if we refresh this, okay, these are all Arial now. Uh, I don't really like the uh, the um, underlining of this, so I'm going to take off the underlining with uh, text decoration. There's none. Okay, so now they've got no underlining. And now we're just going to put in uh, for a bit of, um, uh, sort of make it more dynamic. Uh, we're just going to say a uh, hover and a visited hover as well because we want it to be the same thing. Uh, a visited hover. And then we're just going to say text dash decoration is underlined. Okay, so now if we refresh, if we hover over one of them. It uh, underlines it, and then of course, if I visit that one and then hover over it, it's still the same. Um, you can also do. I thought this was pretty cool, but uh, when I hosted my site on WSNW, a lot of people said it looked kind of cheesy. But uh, oh well. Uh, font dash uh, style is italic. And now, when you hover over. You can see it sort of goes italic and underlines, which is pretty cool, I thought, but uh, uh, different opinions. I think uh, now I come to look at it, I think just the underline is good enough. Plus, as you saw, when I changed it to italic, it sort of moved around the uh, the other links and stuff, which is not ideal. Anyway, um, okay, now we've, uh, we've got, let's, uh, we're going to, um, okay, that's our links done. We're going to div another spacer, just so we can space out again. And because we've already done the CSS for this, we don't need to do any CSS, because uh, it's a class, so spacer here and spacer here are spelled exactly the same way as in here, so they both do the same thing. So anyway, we did our div our spacer, then we're going to say content, um, okay, and then again in here. Um, just before I go on, I sort of like to uh, keep constants and uh, sort of main things, meaning like main as in the body and the links which like reference everything, and constants such as the spacer. I, I prefer to keep them sort of up top here, whereas like custom made things like the, the container and the header and the navbar, well the, not the container really either, but the header and the navbar, um, I sort of like to put them at the bottom, so that's 